Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and, your and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So today we're gonna do another reaction video. Before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to say thank you for subscribing and thank you for making sure that you always comment in the comment section and also thank you for being the first person to give us suggestions and whatnot. So today we're gonna react to why the Jews will follow Dajjal. Uh, Dajjal means <clears throat> Antichrist. It can be a controversial topic, title. We normally get most of this kind of title. But let's hear what the guy says and why are they gonna be the Antichrist? And who are the Jews people? Without any further ado, let's get it. The Jews will follow the Dajjal, why? Because, uh, because the, Dajjal, the Jews, they didn't believe that Isa alayhi salam really came. Remember, they believe that he's an imposter. Isa alayhi salam, remember in the Quran, they said the true Isa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lifted him. They didn't crucify him, nor they, they killed him. They killed someone else. Now the Jews who became Jews later on, they were the ones in the children of Israel who wanted to kill Isa alayhi salam. And they boasted, they said, we killed him, we killed him. That's in the Quran. And they became the Jews. And what they're saying right now is they're saying the true Messiah is yet to come. We are waiting for him. So they didn't believe in the true Isa alayhi salam. And they didn't believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So who are they waiting for now? They're waiting for Isa to come. Guess who they're going to get? They're going to get the Dajjal. What will he say I am? I am Isa. You know that? But he's lying. The true Isa alayhi salam comes afterwards and he will kill the false messiah but there's another sheikh talking about it inshallah i'll leave it for him the christians will follow the dajjal why because they believe that isa is going to come back so do we but they don't know about the dajjal as we know about it now the christians believe that jesus is the son of god and they also call jesus god is that correct they call him god so it's not going to be hard for the Dajjal to convince them that he is Jesus Christ. Guess what else he's going to say after that? The Prophet ﷺ says he will stay among the people in the world for 40 mornings, 40 days. The first day is as long as a year, the second day is as long as a month, the third day is as long as a week, and the rest of them normal. This hadith is in Sahih Muslim too. And he will stay for 40 days. In the beginning he'll tell the people, I am Isa, the son of Mary. People start following and they follow him because he also shows miracles that's what he calls them he calls them miracles but Allah gave him certain trials for example Prophet ﷺ told us that he will get to a mountain a hill and he will order all of its treasures to come out and the treasures will be found very easily as if as if they're serving him he will order clouds to come and unite and he will make the rain fall in lands that are that don't grow and the people look and they go, oh wow, oh wow, he gave us crops, he gave us truly, he is the son of God maybe. Right? They start believing he's Jesus Christ. And he starts doing all these things, right? The people who don't follow him, they live in, in hardship, in misery. They're going to get hungry, they're going to get thirsty. They, it's very, very hard on them. So the rest start following him. After a few days, what does he say? He says, I am God. I am your Lord. I am God. It's not going to be hard for them to believe that he is God. They just saw all these beautiful miracles, apparently. First he goes, I am Jesus. And the Christians already say that Jesus is God. It's part of the Trinity. It's not going to be hard. Do you understand what's happening? Now the whole world is getting prepared for that. Isn't that correct? Luxury. People now are used to luxury so much. They want things easy. We call them first world problems. They're going to follow the Dajjal very easily because it's going to give them luxury. It's going to give them, you know, all this stuff. And we now, in this world today, what is happiness? You know, everyone wants to be happy, happy, happy. But the places they're looking for to be happy is materialistic. You know what materialistic means? Cars, looks, muscles, money, luxury, all that stuff, right? Social media, all that is called materialism. It doesn't make you happy. It's fake happiness. The Dajjal will come and it will give you that fake happiness. So it'll be easy for you to want it because the people start thinking this is happiness. People now also don't believe in God much. A lot of atheists are happening. So when the Dajjal comes around and gives them this, that's easy for them to believe in, right? So you can see 
Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is warning us not to be part of that. Right now, work on yourself. Even now confused because okay the whole thing was about the Jewish people mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, they will follow the job anyway um, because they believe um, that Jesus is God uh, no they crucified Jesus because he was an imposter they're expecting someone to come mm, yeah, I see so the Jewish people have different kind of beliefs Christians also have different the Muslims have different see that's where the problem is now so um, we are at a point in time where we are even confused or we are at loggerheads where like we, 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 we have to we have to give labels to certain things. Are you really confused though based on what you believe or what they believe? I think when you believe on something you don't necessarily be confused but the moment another thing is introduced you want to make it look like it's not of badness compared to yours. Okay, mm. so now once you do that and I'm a listener and I'm trying to listen to you when I'm in this other side of belief, I'm going to be confused. Okay, why is he saying that? But this is what I've been raised to believe, to think or to... Do you understand? So it creates that sense of uh, imbalance when it comes to understanding certain things. That's why I, I, I say this. Once you believe on something, stick to it if you really want to. Whether it's bad or good, go with it. Until when maybe one day something's going to come in you and maybe change you. If it really occurs, I believe we're humans and we live day for, uh, to, um, to see better future or to... Especially for me, I'm thinking that we were put here on, on earth or this realm to actually learn and uh, be part of the creator okay by saying about by, by that I mean we should be at the forefront either uh, trying to um, help the creator um, procreate more build um, worship praise all those nice things and also try to ascend from one level to another so it's like when you're inside a game and you're trying to play a game you want to go from different level to a different level to a different level so it's just the same thing that we're in here we have 1d 2d 3d 4d 5d maybe 6d 7d of realms so most likely we are at a level where we are at maybe 3d or something that people who have already ascended somewhere else so we are here to learn if you fail you have to go back and start renewing yourself again start understanding hey i'm here for a reason and there's a purpose as to why i'm here anyway that's how i think that's the kind of theory i have in me now regarding this topic over here um you see all these things we we hear that they're gonna happen the antichrist is gonna come and i look at it in a point of attachment like we are so much attached to things do you understand what if that thing that you're attached on is a thing that's going to be used against you for example let's say most people are attached to their wealth or maybe their their phones and whatnot and then someone one day wakes up and says you know what i'm gonna take away what you have uh sorry i'm gonna take away what you have and replace it you with something even much better do you understand or i'm gonna take whatever you have and for you to get it back you have to conform to what i tell you to do you see so now let's say for example i've always been fantasizing about that nice car like the g-wagon that you've always been wanting then imagine one day someone just comes in and just gives you the g-wagon would you not want to follow that guy but it comes with terms and conditions maybe there's no even terms and conditions maybe the guy just gives it to you just like that but because you don't have the understanding you blindly just follow because for someone to give you something there must be a price do you understand there always must be a catch do you understand there always must be a catch so you're saying in this situation in this situation is 
I feel like people shouldn't be so much attached to to what the story that the Antichrist will come. No, they shouldn't be attached to whatever the things that they do, okay? Because th that thing that you're so much attached to, that's the thing that they're going to use against you to actually follow. Do you understand? For example, what happened during COVID time? We were so much attached to our jobs. During security. COVID? Yes, I mean security. No, we were going to jobs. But because... No, I'm saying, okay, let's forget COVID. We were going to work, COVID came. What happened? Oh, okay, so I get what you're saying. Most of the people got laid off, we but... Bef attached to jobs? Yes. We didn't see the, you losing your job? Is what you're trying no, to say? No, because you attached to the jobs, we do want to lose our job because... That's what I'm saying. Because if we lose it, there's no security How for you. How are going to survive? Yes, so you had to go and get it. But then how does get. that relate to the Antichrist? No, I'm just saying, what if, no, my point I'm coming from attachment, do you understand? The Antichrist, who is going to come, but how is he going to control the masses? And how is he going to make sure that I get everyone in, in our hands? Yes, uh, the person here, the narrator is talking about the Jewish people who will follow Dajjal. And I feel like most of the people will end up there. Because of attachment. The more you attach to something, someone's gonna use that against you. And you'll find yourself just going in there without even using your mind. For example, the, the issue about COVID nineteen. Everybody, most of the people got the, you know, because you're so much attached to that job and you felt like if you don't go to work, you're gonna die or maybe your family's gonna so you have to protect them and do you understand what I mean? Okay. Yeah, so Anyway, I don't know. I'm using a diff, uh, different. Does it? Narrative. The Jews use the Torah, yes? Yeah, the Torah is their book. And does it say in the Torah that they killed Jesus? To be honest, I really, I can't speak of that, but according to what the guy is saying. I'm just asking in general, not according to what you're yeah. saying. I'm just asking in general. I th yeah. I, I, Do they I, actually agree that we killed this imposter? Did you want uh, Isa? And anyway, those really are just some of the questions we should ask ourselves yeah. or actually go to the Torah yeah, and yeah, yeah. read. And Is it Torah to. in Jew? I don't even know at this point, yeah. but whatever book they use, do you understand? And like you <clears> said <throat> about looking down upon another religion, we should ask ourselves a lot about religion. Because yeah. if we're going to go by textbook, religion was introduced just the other day. Mm -hmm. So how do I know what I'm following is right? First of all, do you understand? My name is funny, but then someone else comes and tells me my name is funny or maybe. Do you understand? We have to question just because one person is saying this. I'm saying my name is this. Maybe someone else has their own version. I don't know. What I wish from all these religions is speaking. I wish they could stop speaking or speaking down on each other. Yeah. Just focus on your religion. I want you to focus on your religion so that I just get the goodness of that. Because if yeah. you speak down on another religion, I feel like you're speaking down on what someone else believes. You're losing focus of your message. I feel like that makes you a bad person to some extent. Because I don't have to because speak down on another person to make myself feel beautiful. Do you understand? I have to tell myself I'm beautiful. I don't have to say, Jesse is not. Or... Faith is not, or do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just feel like we can do better as human beings if we just stopped and focused on the message of whatever it is. Yes, what what you're saying is, is is really true. Again, most of these religions were religion founded, itself, were founded, not these religions, but religion yeah, itself. The religion concept. itself was founded through beliefs, okay, and not not knowing because most of the things we tend to believe and you see why are we even believing these things yeah. because at the so, end of the day no matter what sorry babe, mm. no matter what book we follow do you understand what book we live by that was man it was created by man yeah and somewhere somehow them, yeah. do you understand so i don't know it's, but it's good to believe in something i'm not saying don't believe no. in anything it's good to believe in something course, it's good to have course, something that course. you live by you understand yes. something that's checking you like okay no you made a mistake here 
check yourself or do better next time so yeah i feel there's one thing i just want to point out any foundation that has been built by house of cards okay simple english my friend by a house of cards it actually crumbles down house of cards meaning house of cards like you know cards mm -hmm. of course cards when you just touch it like that it's gonna fall down just like jenga mm -hmm. it's gonna fall down because the foundation is not that as weak. good as yeah, it's weak but now okay what i'm trying to say is the religion aspect of things is just based on beliefs and oh there are many weak points there but because we want to believe it it makes it stronger okay like it makes it even because if 100 people believe that this thing will give them life don't you think this thing is gonna rise up and give it life give everyone life do you understand so i understand that but now imagine that if there was no uh religion or maybe one day you woke up and you know you like you literally know that this is it would you believe any would you believe i don't think you'll be in a state of belief anymore you'll be in a state of knowing and i i i there are people out there who really don't want to be in that belief state there are people okay i understand there's faith but there are people who don't want to be in that belief state and they don't want to 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 they want to know i mean they really want to know did this really exist i'm sorry I mean, did this really happen because i was just born and i was told this is this is it but can i have my own choice can i just try and uh, you know sit down and think and rethink things and try to figure out things by myself why do i have to be told like this is what you need to follow i'm not saying it's a bad thing but so it's a free world yeah now we've got yes. the books exactly we and have everything at the tip of our fingers we yes. can research and but do you think the jews are actually going to go to hell because I, I i don't know i don't know you see <laughs> this thing about saying that they're going to go to hell they are uh, my friend, we don't we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Are we even safe? I think me as a Christian, am I safe? Do I know that I'm going to to hell or heaven? We might not know, my friend. Even you, the the person who claims to be really pure or maybe to have Christ in heart or to be to have you're having Muhammad in you and all this kind of stuff. Are you truly do you really think that you yes, I know you believe you're gonna go to heaven, but are you do you even know what that heaven is or we just read you see this this are things that we really have to i actually believe in seeing the good in people do you understand but for yeah most of us that believe in heaven i feel like everyone deserves deserves a second chance and we should all find ourselves there but do you, do you think for those of us that believe in him but but Not everyone <laughs> But you know, I was listening but to then someone, you don't know what's going and to this, this person broke it so well. He said, "You know what? These people they made this book, and they made you believe that there is heaven, that you should leave, you should, you should not. There's actually a song that goes. No, I I can't remember the song or what, but it goes in the lyrics like this: that no, my riches is not on earth." But once I die, I will see it in heaven. Do you, like, like, literally, like, it's telling you that your riches are not here, but you're going to die and you'll find it in heaven. Now, you see, I don't know. So this guy was breaking it down or saying that people have been so much uh, indoctrinated to a point that even trying to understand that this world was given to us and we are supposed to become yes out of what we have here do you understand that this is our world we were put here to actually live the best that we can in the most positive manner do you understand it doesn't matter you have to be rich you have to acquire wealth but then not do you understand you have to acquire I don't mean riches when it comes to this. So I'm saying you have to explain, but it's a whole different conversation. Yes, I mean, it's a different conversation. Wealth in terms of abundance, 
uh, in terms of of of, of you have to break down what abundance is abundance to some people, okay then that's what i'm saying yeah it should be I mean, a whole it's different. a whole if you want me to talk more about abundance just let me know in the comment section below man i'm gonna break it down for you people well, they can follow you Jesse Keegan. yeah you? i mean it's guys i don't know heaven and, and hell is a state of mind i don't know i feel so but hmm. huh? okay it's a state of <laughs> mind i feel so and the people who came and gave us this religion texts they knew that the moment they tell you uh, about heaven that is somewhere else you won't focus much on what is here what's happening yeah so let us know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video and this is am i released now I can go